Well, after more than three decades in the U.S. Senate, California Senator Dianne Feinstein has officially announced she will not run for another term. So it marks the end of a long career in public service that began more than 50 years ago. Fox 40 Capital reporter Aton Wallace has reaction from the political world and shares what this means, Aton, for the upcoming 2024 election. Oh, yes, a lot of people talking about that, Nikki. And you know what? A lot of reaction pouring in on Feinstein's long career, but a lot of attention also now looking to who will replace her for that powerful Senate seat. She's California's longest serving senator. But after more than 30 years in the U.S. Senate, 89 year old Dianne Feinstein says she's ready to hang it up. Writing in a statement, she will not seek re election in 2024. Her fellow California Senator Alex Padilla reacting to the news. You know, it would be impossible to write the history of California politics. It'd be impossible to write the history of American politics without acknowledging the trailblazing career of Senator Dianne Feinstein. Governor Gavin Newsom saying Feinstein's lifetime of service and leadership has made our country fairer, safer, and stronger. A lifetime of service that started on the San Francisco Board of Supervisors in 1969. About a decade later, Feinstein would go on to become the first woman to lead the city of San Francisco as mayor, taking the helm after fellow supervisor Harvey Milk and then Mayor George Moscone were assassinated at the hands of Supervisor Dan White in an act that shocked the city. Mayor Moscone and Supervisor Harvey Milk have been shot and killed. Oh, Jesus Christ. In 1990, Feinstein ran for governor but lost to Republican Pete Wilson. It was her election two years later to the U.S. Senate that would define the rest of her career, joining Barbara Boxer as the first ever pair of women and pair of Jewish women to represent California. Immediately, Feinstein took on issues she held dear, including gun control. I am quite familiar with firearms. I became mayor as a product of assassination. I'm aware of I that. I found my assassinated colleague and put a finger through a bull hole. Senator, I know something about what firearms can do. On abortion? I believe very strongly that we should control our own bodies. And on California's most precious resource, Feinstein was credited with working across the aisle to secure water for the state. We can't function without water. People can't live without water. While Feinstein did receive praise for issues she championed, in recent years she faced calls to step down amid reports questioning her cognitive fitness, reports she always brushed off. Now the question turns to who will take her seat. Democratic Congress members Katie Porter of Orange County and Adam Schiff of Burbank have already launched their campaigns, while Oakland's Barbara Lee is expected to announce her bid soon. Adam Schiff, Katie Porter, and Barbara Lee are all varying degrees of progressive. It's almost impossible to see how this seat will be filled by a Republican. It's almost as unlikely that it will be filled by a centrist Democrat. Whoever wins could play a huge role in California politics for years to come. This is a state of 40 million people and only two senators, and these seats open up very, very rarely. They do tend to be seats for life if you want them. And as for what happens next for Feinstein, well, she says she still has work to do and she looks forward to serving the remainder of her term for the next two years.